Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I am doing a requested video. I was asked by Stephanie if I could do a woody fragrances video. So I thought, you know, why not? I have a woody fragrance that I am currently obsessed with. I actually thought that I didn't have a lot of woody fragrances, but what I noticed with these um, scents that I have, with these perfumes that I have, is that they are in essence woody fragrances, but they are paired with or combined with other notes that can be prominent in the entrance it can be cherry some sweet notes some florals but as a fragrance it is first and foremost a woody scent or a woody fragrance so i'm gonna start with my current obsession i mentioned this in my perfume tray video current obsessions video this one is by the fireplace by replica i am still loving this one so much if I'm not wearing it, I'm spraying it on my arms, I'm spraying it on my hand, I'm spraying it on my pillows. I just love the whole scent. I have a 30ml and I have already put a huge dent on this one. I think I bought this one like two weeks ago and I am using so much already. This one is a sweet woody fragrance that has a smoky character to it. I get a lot of sweetness in this one. When I first got it, like the first couple of days, I got the sweetness in the dry down and when I experienced experience this with my sample but now just spraying this in the air i immediately get something sweet it's like almost sugary sweet sort of it's like crystal like in the quality of sweetness and just that beautiful woody note it's almost smoky but it's like sweet all throughout that's how i experienced this one and i know a lot of people love the scent and this has been around for quite a while a lot of people have been talking about this this one is probably my most favorite woody fragrance for now by the fireplace by replica and another one by replica i mentioned both of these in my recent haul video this one is autumn vibes i was really surprised that i decided to buy a bottle just by testing it because on skin you guys this one is beautiful it's resinous and ambery woods it's dry but it's also like very comforting at the same time the dryness and the powdery quality comes from spices like pink pepper cardamom and nutmeg it also has moss but the main main note here is cedar and it's displayed beautifully in this one so it's not just like a very heavy woody fragrance because it has those lighter notes those spices and pink pepper that just lifts that um otherwise heavy woody moody kind of a scent so this one is autumn vibes another one from replica and then i want to talk about a sweet fruity kind of a woody this scent. one is yesterday haze by imaginary authors when i got the discovery set from imaginary authors this one really blew my mind because of the creamy almost nutty quality to the woody um notes this one aside from the woody notes this has walnut walnut bitters i think it is in particular that's where i got that nuttiness in the scent but this one also has whipped cream and fig fig as a fragrance note can have that milkiness to it but then pairing it up with whipped cream just makes it you know an entirely different kind of like creaminess and then you have walnut in there as well it has fruity notes it has tonka bean this one is just one of those um cozy cabin fall and winter kind of fragrances it's very cozy it's warm i get a lot of fig in here fig and whipped cream woody notes tonka bean it's just delicious now i want to talk about another one now this one love fest burning cherry by kayali now people would just consider this one as a cherry scent well it is it's called burning cherry love fest cherry is the more prominent fragrance note but um for those who own this or for those who have tried this like what you may have noticed is that the cherry it can be very fleeting it lasts longer than most cherry fragrances but the cherry note is just there but in the dry down in the base this is a woody scent for the woody notes this one has palo santo and guayac wood and those are ones that i really get in the scent i got this one secondhand and that was the main reason why the original owner sold this one because she expected this scent to be just purely syrupy sweet cherry but she got more woody notes in there and i love the woodiness in this fragrance that that beautiful cherry is like yes it's a cherry on top you know the cherry is a cherry on top but the woody 
body and woody base and this one is gorgeous it's dry and it's smoky but then has some fruitiness to it because when the cherry fades we still have raspberry and we still have some sweetness because of praline so love fast burning cherry 48 by kayali another one this is carpe cafe by Gallagher Fragrances. So this one, aside from being a coffee fragrance, I have a separate coffee fragrances video, you guys. So I hope you guys check that out. This one has that very noticeable note of cypress. It has myrrh, sandalwood, cypress as the main woody notes. So this one, it has that strong coffee in the entrance. It's creamy it's milky it's sweet it's syrupy it's a strong black coffee with all those sweet notes surrounding it but then it dries down to that beautiful resinous cypress together with amber so this one may have that beautiful coffee note in it but the body of the scent is the woody character so it's mainly a woody scent for me this is carpe cafe and then this one, I always considered this as a tobacco fragrance. This one, I, I sprayed this on me, you guys, before filming this video. This just gets better over time. Like, I love this. I can't believe I thought of decluttering this one when I did like a major declutter during the start of this year. This one is so beautiful. I've had this for two years now. This is Elizabeth and James Nirvana Amethyst. This aside from having that beautiful tobacco and that honeysuckle this one has cedar wood in it when the tobacco fades in the entrance the tobacco doesn't really last that long this becomes a sweet woody kind of a fragrance the honeysuckle stays throughout the whole um, scent this is more of a dry woody kind of a scent because of that cedar note some sweetness lingers from the honeysuckle and the tobacco here you guys just beautiful it's just just a beautiful scent it's this one is a quiet kind of a fragrance like for example um carpe cafe this can be a very loud fragrance this is like loud it's sweet it's just everywhere it projects it lasts long and this can be a loud fragrance too by the fireplace because of how sweet it is but this one is like a mellow quiet kind of a fragrance it's it's just there it's chilling it's sitting on your skin makes you feel really nice makes you feel really beautiful it's soft elizabeth and james nirvana amethyst now let us talk about this beautiful gold bottle right here. This one is Mon Parfum Gold from M. Mikalef. This one is another beautiful fragrance. Like when I first got it, I was overwhelmed by how dry and woody it is. Like woody, spicy, ambery. But this one, as it matures, I think I've had this for, I don't know, like four months, five months, I think. Um the other notes in here just bloom it has pink pepper a very noticeable pink pepper it has plum and ylang ylang when you first spray this one you get a blast of citrus from the tangerine that's in here it has tangerine and as i mentioned plum those are the main notes that i get in the entrance and of course i mentioned pink pepper this one has ylang ylang very noticeable it has an almost banana like quality to it it also has tuberose orange blossom and jasmine so all the beautiful florals that you can think of it is here but as this one dries out and becomes smoky it has smoke and incense in here vanilla and amber but the woody notes you know it's present throughout the whole scent mon parfum gold by m Mikalef. and then this one is auto portrait so this is more of that resinous sweet almost leathery quality kind of a woody scent so this was a love at first sniff i immediately got a full bottle after trying the discovery set this one has that fresh entrance because of bergamot and then it's all about the resins and woody notes. This one has cedar and vetiver. Those are the two main woody notes in this one. And those gorgeous woody notes are paired with resins like elemi, benzoin. So this is that um, sweet, aromatic, resinous kind of a woody scent. So I really love this. And then this one 
it's more about vetiver and cypress this is encre noir by lalique one of my most favorite woody fragrances so this one has that grassy dry almost ink-like quality to the woody notes that vetiver and cypress is it cypress or fir that's in here but it's just mostly resinous woody notes together with the dry and inky um, vetiver in here and then let us go to teak wood so teak or teak wood in fragrances it can be a very tricky note for me i think that was the note that made me let go of uh, noir exquise by l'artisan perfumer this one is baudre by van Cleavener fels this is a powdery sweet smoky kind of a woody fragrance smokiness comes from pepper it has tobacco in here the sweetness comes from notes like vanilla and almond so the almond here has that sweet almost cherry nutty kind of quality so it's all together that's why i really really love this because for those days when i just want something powdery sweet but then not overly sweet something that would have a smoky quality to it but also something that has a heavier base like woody notes this is what i reach for baudre so the main woody note in here is teak wood teak wood has that almost dark dusty very very dry kind of a, a scent um it's different from cedar it's not as resinous as something like cypress or fir but it's more like very dry dark wood and then let us go to sandalwood this one is santal wood by theodoros calotinis so this is a boozy kind of a woody scent so it has rum it has some resins it has patchouli but the main note is sandalwood sandalwood can sometimes be just like pencil shavings it can be really dry but this one because of notes like rum and ambers the sandalwood isn't really as dry leaning pencil shavings category i know sandalwood can also be described by most people as having that dill pickle quality but this one it's smooth it's milky the sandalwood reminds me of how sandalwood is in santal majuscule by um search Luton, so that's how the sandalwood is in here but yeah this is just one of those fragrances that i would consider mostly as a boozy scent but in essence just like all these fragrances here this one is a woody fragrance with sandalwood as the star note so this is santal wood by theodorus calutinis from his golden secret collection the extrait de parfum and then i have a woody fragrance that is paired with aldehydes and resins and metallic notes this one is andrea max craft this one is woody aldehydic aromatic it has aldehydes as the top notes as metallic notes and water notes virginia cedar as the main woody note and it also has patchouli and alamy so this one starts up very bright and fresh so combining aldehydes and watery notes together just just makes this one as a very fresh like bright fragrance it also has that metallic um notes that give off that very cool noir nordic kind of vibe that's the whole feeling with this fragrance for the first half an hour it's more like inky metallic aldehydic watery together with alamy so this one has that same ish aromatic feel to auto portrait which explains why i fell in love with this one right away and i fell in love with this one too is that both of them have um elemy and i think it has that almost leathery resinous balmy quality so that's what i get in this one and then in the dry down this becomes like full on virginia cedar virginia cedar very similar to how it is in um nirvana amethyst it's dry it's like full bodied but it's not heavy so andrea max craft and then the last one is a warm spicy kind of a woody scent this one is the perfect fall and winter scent five o'clock ocean jambra by serge Lutons. this is first warm spicy but then it just becomes a woody scent this one has a lot of notes this has bergamot and tea it has cinnamon woody notes 
ginger it has honey amber cacao and patchouli and surprisingly like how it is with most sursuton fragrances like if you really experience the scent like spray it on your skin in the air and experience it you really get those notes but here this one if i can just give a very simplified description this just smells like black tea with candy ginger you put lemon in there as well and then you have some cinnamon added in that tea too like everything in that tea and then you serve that tea in a beautiful like wooden platter that's how this one smells like it has a lot of freshness in the entrance because of bergamot because of ginger just like with these fragrances in essence this is a woody fragrance cinnamon and woody notes together cacao adding to that um dryness almost to the fragrance that spicy dryness to the fragrance this is just beautiful so this is woody and warm spicy and just like with um this one would belong to the same ish family as with auto portrait nirvana amethyst so it's a woody fragrance but it's a lighter woody scent it's not heavy like if i could describe a heavy woody fragrance from this selection that would be encre noir that's like a heavy woody um note this one also is a heavy woody kind of a fragrance because of the other notes the smoky quality to the woody notes but you notice here that the woody notes is just like very weighed down it's not light this one even though it's sandalwood it's milky it can also be a heavy woody fragrance but you know this one too is very uh, heavy in terms of that woody notes the cypress here is very heavy as of filming this video i know veronica says has a woody fragrances video so i'm gonna link her video down below in the description box thank you to stephanie for requesting this video i never thought that i'd have so many woody fragrances i know i have a lot more in my perfume cabinet but i just wanted to feature these ones explaining that woody fragrances they don't necessarily have to be just like oud or dry woods they can be paired with fruity notes and milky notes as well but you know retaining and keeping that woody quality thank you for sharing a big chunk of your day you guys for watching today's video i hope you guys subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet help my channel grow and don't forget to leave a like because doing so really helps the channel a lot like i always say in every single video have fun much love stay safe and see you in the next one Thank you.